Hey, what's up? Mike here at Base Alien. We just got in this Boss GT1B pedal made specifically for bass guitar. It's an affordable, extremely powerful bass guitar effects pedal, and it's made specifically for bass. Boss also has a GT1, which is for the lesser instrument known as a guitar. We're gonna explore this. We're gonna do a quick unboxing and then explore this thing. In fact, you know, normally I do a tabletop unboxing, but really, there's not much in here, so we'll just get into it. There's not much to see on the outside. It just says compact, lightweight, easy to use, Cosm amp models, two-way power supply, USB audio, and tone central. Now, I should note, it's a little misleading on the box. It says, and PSA adapter. They just mean there's two ways to power it, like pretty much any pedal. Uh, it's the typical tip is negative, nine volt power supply this thing draws 200 milliamps so those of you that use a like an isolated uh, pedal power like from one spot or somebody this works great with those as well so there is no psa or any other power adapter supplied with this uh, however they do give you batteries which is kind of nice without further ado let's do a quick unboxing right so i'll just do it here instead of tabletop that's all there is to it you get a manual and a quick start guide so four double A's it takes, or uh, we, you could do a pedal power, of course, if you have something like that, or Boss's own PSA power supply. So, and that's it, that's all that's in the box. You got your pedal, you got your styrofoam, and uh, that's, you know, that's all you got. So, wrapped in plastic, quickest unboxing ever. And you can get rocking. So this is a lot, uh, smaller in size like in person than you might see online so i don't know if if that's conveyed well over video here but you know i mean here's my hand right and it's uh oh let me show you like a regular pedal here's like a boss here's dynamic wah pedal right so this pedal is smaller than you might have seen in like traditional pedals or on whammy pedals but it's actually nice. I mean, you can get your foot on it in different spots and get a good feel for it, uh, angle and whatnot. So no issue with that. And uh, we'll go through the pedal real quick, but just checking it out on the outside, you got you know these three nice clickable buttons, your expression pedal, which could be volume, you know, wah, or uh, increasing an effect like modulation. You got your DC in, you know, your USB input. You got your, uh, yeah, control for expression pedal input you got a stereo output or of course you could just do mono out uh aux in an eighth inch jack for like you know mp3 player or some kind of music you want to aux in and of course headphones out with a one eighth inch stereo jack out so on the front panel you got three nice feeling knobs the tops nice and metal metal and it's normally up and down and then a modifier so some presets you know as you go through them up or down here you can hit like a solo mode, for example, and just within that one preset. So it's almost like having two presets in one. There's Tone Central. It's a way you plug in USB to your computer and connect this thing online and edit your sounds even better online, which is pretty cool. So if you're like me and you're a fan of these guys, what's nice is this will fit in your gig bag. And I know a lot of people that gig with these uh, professional settings and whatnot, because it's really got amazing tone. Compared to pedals of the old day, they really have the amp modeling down and the effects very high qualities. I do also have the Friend, uh, the guitar version, the GT1, and it's just a great, especially if you're a bassist, you're not gonna maybe collect a million guitar pedals. I mean, you might, but <laughs> if you don't and you want a, a variety of sounds at your fingertips, or if you're a professional gigging guitarist, I mean, this is a great pedal as well. So, so with that said, let's go have some fun with this pedal and I'll show you what it's all about. And let's start off, check out the built-in tuner on this thing. So you just hit both of these pedals at once. You'll see on the screen, hopefully it shows up on there, that you have a more detailed tuner, so to speak, with more granularity. You, of course, can run this with batteries. I have it going to my handy dandy One Spot Pro. Just bang both those pedals to get back in the sound, and we're gonna just run through uh, as many effects as we can. For our signal chain, we're running right through the Schecter, right into using this awesome lava cable. It's the Blue Demon cable. They're amazing cables. They're a veteran-owned company. We carry the lava cables. They're awesome. 
I have that going straight into the Boss GT1B, and then I have stereo out straight from that into my PreSonus uh, audio box for recording. And I, I normally don't run it that way. I usually do a balanced out from one of my amps, uh, which of course adds some tone to it as well. But uh, I wanted you guys to hear really straight out of the Boss what it sounds like. And it's the only way for me to share those stereo effects with you, so. So here's a scoop slap. So the expression pedal, it's shorter, you know, this not a large pedal fits in your gig bag nicely. The drawback, if there's any, is the pedal is not, a, you know, like a full size whammy bar or uh, whatever you call that whammy pedal kind of thing. I just found having my heel, more of my heel on it, you know, and the toe sticking out the front kind of works better. So the expression pedal acts as a volume pedal for most of the time. It's kind of the default setting unless there's some other, you know, it's programmed to do something else from one of the other programs. Uh, basically, if you're soloing or doing something else, you could just bang on that one pedal and you'll stand out a little bit more. Yeah, it really just kind of makes it a little punchier. Yeah, it just uh, gives it a little something something, maybe for a solo or whatnot. So let's go through some of these presets uh, a little more quickly and see what happens. Yeah, I play a lot of chords when I see tube or overdrive because you'll hear you'll hear more of that growl or overdrive when you're doing chords and you know it's probably the volume I'm playing too, but Just sounds EQ'd lower, you know? More of a reggae maybe, it's a little, little grungy sounding too, so it says some preamps in there. All right, next. <laughs> yes. Gritty. That's nice. All right. Some major sustain. Cool. All right, cord drive, cord drive.
It's almost, it's very buzzy to me. I don't know what it sounds like to you guys, but it's very buzzy. I mean, maybe some of this would be good for tapping, but it's uh, very buzzy. It says eight by 10 stack, if you can't read it on there. And uh, it's got a clean tone, as the alternate. And then you just go right into the... All right, fuzz bass. A lot of fuzz. Uh, A lot of fuzz presets on this pedal, but I mean, you could find the one you like and then tune it, you know, with the software more or even right on the on the board here. So that is a saw wave. Wow. <laughs> Overdrive slap. So I just think a Primus when I hear that. I don't know why, but. That's really less Claypool, I guess, than not Primus, but. <laughs> Sorry, Stanley. All right. So with the red modifier. Yeah, so, and then without it. Nothing. So it's an auto wah, it sounds like, right? Kind of wacky like that. <laughs> All right, next. Weird. That's called atmosphere. This is hip hop and dub. Yeah, there's like an octave or maybe some ring modulation in there. called Hip Hop and Dub. Oh, simple fretless. So you could try to pretend you're a fretless, right? Jesus. wacky synth effects though you know you get kind of crazy with that urban slap 
whatever that means. Just volume, okay. New York slap. So if I could play like Marcus Miller, it's probably uh, his sort of sound. But. Metalhead. Now we get to use the expression pedal. I like it. I'm gonna pull, I think it's getting away from me. Stereo funk, I have no idea. Pretty cool. What the hell? Oh, that's fun. Program 39, pedal pitch solo. That's pretty, pretty cool for an effect. couple other really cool things I want to show you about this pedal. At this price point, it's amazing because not only do you get all of the effects, including stereo effects, an expression pedal, a wide array of fantastic customizable sounds, but you also get uh, a tuner and you get a looper pedal. So that's right. You don't have to go spend a $300, $500 on a Boss looper pedal if you just want some basic stuff for practicing and stuff like that and overdubbing and that sort of thing. If you want to do more complex switching of loops and storing and this and that, uh, you're going to be looking at 500 and up for the other um, Boss Looper pedals, but you also get three different ways, uh, selectable output options, meaning the default is what I have a line in or headphones. So it sounds great when you're either practicing with headphones or lining out right to a recording. There's, you could also tell it one of two different amp settings. So if you're going to a bass amplifier, like you usually would, you can tell it that, and you can also tell it if you have an amplifier with a tweeter. So like my Eden cabinet here, this 210 has a tweeter, and I would set this thing when going through here to say, yes, I have an amp with tweeter. So it'll kind of tone down the, the high end stuff, the EQ and whatnot. Whereas if I tell it I have, I'm going through an amp without a tweeter, it kind of boosts those high end things so that it could hear it a little better uh, without that tweeter. And then the default, like I said, is the headphone and uh, line out like you have it on. Probably can't see it, but there's a little headphone icon right on the display to show you kind of what mode you're in. So let's check out the looper. I already showed you the tuner, but it's just an incredible value and amazing sounds in here. It's a great uh, practice tool as well as on stage, you could use this thing. So I'm having a lot of fun with it. All right, so to get it in the looper mode, uh, if you remember the tuner, you had to hit these two pedals at the same time. So for the looper, you have to hit these two pedals at the same time on the right. So you'll see it just says on, on the display real big, and then go back to whatever effect setting you're on. To start recording, you just hit the control one button again. So you could do like, and you just tap control one again, and it goes right into that loop mode. And you could now switch the effects to another sound like uh, I don't Thank 
switching from major to minor. So to stop it, you just double tap the key on the right. You could play it again, just hitting it. And the overdub, you just hit it one more time, right? So like, if you wanted to emphasize the the flat three and flat six, you know, you could say like, uh, and then just tap it again, it's gonna now loop that new overdub in. So that's an awesome tool you can use with uh, basic looper functionalities. It holds up to 32 seconds on there. And you could use that to your heart's content and overdub and overdub. The only thing you can't do that like a looper pedal could do is clear your previous overdubs. It'll clear the whole thing or that's it. I mean, think about it. You can go anywhere, right? With your gig bag, just this, a, a cord, you know, wireless um, guitar plugs and this pedal. It put, you know, load some batteries in the pedal and literally practice anywhere, um, I, you know, bring some headphones and boom, you're just, you have all this plus a looper anywhere you go. And I, to me, that's pretty awesome. You have really no excuse for not practicing anymore. <laughs> so you just hold down the control one button, whether it's playing or not, and it'll clear everything out of the loopers. <laughs> You could, I mean, it's just fun to mess around with a looper. So if you're kind of, you know, debating, do I get a looper? Do I get an effects pedal? And you think, well, for bass, you don't really need that many effects. But I mean, you'd be surprised in a band setting or even just having fun at home, getting more creative and having more fun practicing is just kick it into distortion or a mild tube effect, some of that funky wah, even just the chorus and the ethereal stuff. It's got from mild to wild in this pedal, and it's just a lot of fun to play with and have the looper in there as well. I would say get this pedal first, no question. You could cover any sound you wanna do, uh, even if you don't have like, you know, an amp that does everything you need it to do. You could probably get that tone out of this thing, no joke. And then you could have the options. It's all portable package. It's great for practicing as well as live on stage. You got the looper built in, and then later, if you want to get a fancy looper pedal uh, or, you know, different separate effects for some reason, or, you know, you could do all that stuff. So, so you got the expression pedal, all those effects, presets, you could edit it on your computer. There's a looper. You got these amp modeling, uh, different settings for sending it out. And on top of all that, you can hook up a couple different pedals to this. Uh, a full size expression pedal, if you'd like, if you prefer, instead of uh, the smaller one, you can hook, plug in a full size expression pedal to this and use that instead. You can also hook up other pedals to use for it for changing settings. You can pick the sound based on these menus and you could say, kind of filter that out and say, hey, I'm looking for an overdrive sound or a rock and roll sound or a you know, funk sound or whatever. And it lets you select it through different groupings like that with the knob. So it's easier to find your sound and dial it in. So you have the control one button. You can connect two other controls, a control two and three, and they're all programmable. So you could use the software, the menu on the pedal to assign different functions to those other two pedals if you add them onto this. And then on top of that, you get an expression pedal. So using uh, you know TRS, tip, tip ring and sleeve, different plugs, you can have two other control buttons on top of this one and still have this expression pedal or an external expression pedal. So very customizable, very expandable, a lot of fun, compact package. I don't know why you wouldn't get one of these just to mess around with it, but I mean, I think you're gonna find yourself using it on stage as well as a invaluable practice tool and stuff like that. So really simplifies your your wiring, you know? I, I get it if you, you love pedals and stuff like that, but this can also be a lot of fun to either just go to a quick jam or you know, bring with you. It's a lot more portable than maybe your pedal board is. So uh, check it out. It's the Boss GT1B. We don't carry it in our store. Just wanted to review the pedal. We are not yet a dealer for Boss or Roland, but we are hoping to be in the future. So uh, we don't have this for sale. 
on our website yet, but it's just uh, just wanted to do this review for you guys because this channel is going to be about everything for bass guitar, not just things we sell in our stores. Just wanted to share the love of some uh, new toy I got. If you haven't checked one out yet, I would say give it a shot and you know what to put on your birthday list now. All right, guys, till next time, have fun and I'll see you soon. Take it easy.